Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Gary War of the East. Now, I do have uh, some interesting opportunities here. I could try to uh, cut off these horses here, which would be quite the catch. There's a good number of horses here, and it would ultimately save me a lot of time. Hmm. Now, I have a grand total of one division to spare from the north over here. I could move these divisions over here, but they can't make that distance, and it seems ultimately uh, worse. Well, worth less than naught for me. Okay. Is that Borodino? Ah. Okay. So we can see here a reserve division would be most beneficial down here. Considering that's where a lot of the Soviet forces are gathering. Okay, you can have control of that division. The 161st. Uh, so we'll just sort out this as much as I can this turn. Well, at least with the administration points I have. Okay, you're already attached. There we go. Trying to sort this out as much as possible. X. X. And three eyes. They're on reserve. There we go. I can't reassign you. Right, they'll have to hold for the time being. Now, I do have one last trick up my sleeve. That would be these panzers. I could have them move via rail down here, which I shall do. Hopefully we can make it. Then again. Do I want to do that? Uh, we'll see how this one goes over here first. Hmm. In fact, we'll go for the breakthrough here. That's what I need anyway. This I can potentially work on. I have it, uh... Well... Yeah, it's basically dealt with, and they do leave themselves open. I'm going to north. Right then, hello guys, what's up? I apologize about that, um, it suddenly started raining really heavily outside and I did have to uh, go and bring some clothes in from outside, so yes, uh, that's my good tea for the day. Right, so, right, 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 right. I do have the potential to deploy these tanks down here, which honestly would be okay, potentially. I don't know if they could make it there, and, uh... I don't know if it's really worth it. I mean, I will be able to get through there probably in the following turn. But having these um, armored vehicles in the north could make a considerable difference. So, if I was to send them northwards, I could send them... Uh, I do need to link up Talonin. Linking up Talonin would be quite nice, actually. Uh, I could send them over there. Hmm. 
So I only have one more point over here. Uh, what we need to do then is break through. Uh, that's what we need to do. Uh, now... Uh, I'm lucky this didn't get cut off here. Mm. Wrong movement. That's only a small amount of cavalry. Mm. Yes, we need to cut this off. So what I need to do then is um, ideally... Ideally, we try and meet along this line here. If I could get something like that going, then we'd have to trap these forces here. And uh, there would be good there. I'd love to try and make it up the river here. That's my ultimate goal here, to isolate Leningrad. I don't know how possible that will be, but um, it's certainly easier if we can take these forces out here. I think that one's uh, quite obvious. Right. <sighs> da -da -da -da. I do have some uh, spare forces here, so I'll send a division here. Okay, I'll give uh, this gentleman a... Uh, can I give them anything? No, okay, fine. Right, I'll have you just attack that brigade on your own. Hopefully you should be able to... Yep, there we go, force it to withdraw, which we have done. Uh, now, I do have the potential to attack the motorized over here, which I could do. But I need to move this division here. Uh, so what I'll do then is I'll select this, and I'll select that, so we can attack with two divisions here. Uh, it is swamp, so it's going to be harder. Can we sign anything? Nope. <clears throat> um, I could gain some extra reserves of infantry here quite easily. So what we'll do then is we'll pull back. Okay, we do have two motorized over here. Those two motorized will be of use. I mean, I could move them over here and they'd be of more use. 37, 33. Right, I'll move there for the time being. I'm gonna pull back across this river. Yeah. You can move there, but... I can commit that reserve. Okay, I've committed an extra reserve there. I can commit an extra reserve here. Okay. There we go. That's three divisions to attack this motorized division. Hopefully, we can drive it off with four to six thousand men. Yes, we can. There we go. Hmm. Could move you there. That, yes. Okay, three divisions. Yep, there we go, that's what I needed. In the direction I needed it as well. Okay. You can move that. Right. Try and push him back. That'll do. Force that back if I can. There we go. Yes, that's what I need. Lovely. Now we can commit our reserves here, and um, yes, um, hopefully I will be able to try and force them all apart and then cut off these divisions here, which is looking extremely likely. Okay, uh, so what I could do is I could pull these motorized back. They have very little fuel, so that would be an idea, and they are quite valuable. Uh, they're nowhere near as combat effective now anyway, so I think it would be worthwhile. Yeah. Yep, we'll pull the motorized back. I can have them sent to be refueled and etc. The infantry can fill this role. Right. Uh, let's see. I 
Now these divisions are cut off, which is fantastic. Right, I do have two free divisions here, actually. Fantastic! That's what I need. Yep, and I can fill in these gaps here. Brilliant. Uh, so what we'll do then is we'll have these two divisions here. They can attack and hopefully make them surrender. Okay, one surrendered. I can get that with you, probably. And now is it going to be the cavalry? So it'll have to be the cavalry then. There we go. They're all gone now. Uh, you will be inevitably cut off. Lovely. I can commit you here. Hmm. I'm better off there, I guess. Then again, then again. Move the cavalry there. Right arm. Um, I might as well hit that, see if I can try to damage it. Yeah, they held. Okay. Not so fun. Airborne Brigade and Tank Division. Hmm. If I can shatter it, that's nice. Okay, retreat. Works as well, I guess. It gives me that extra hex. Um, hex. So that's fine for me. Oh boy, we need to reorganize this big time. Okay. Hmm. I'll move here. Now, how do you... Okay, that'll do then. Yep, there we go. Routed. And I have my... There we go. Now we do need to reinforce this. Hmm. Okay. Go away, Star Wars. Oh, that's irritating. No. I could try to push this back here, which I shall try to do then. Buy myself some room. Force the enemy back. Okay, now I can move there. Which I will do. Okay, we'll both attack here then. Hmm. Uh, so I can move this division here. Okay, motorized can move back. I'll move it here for the time being then. Same for you. You can move there. Uh, that cavalry can act as a reserve over here. Reserve, there we go. I suppose I could move that there. Uh, they have a decent amount of fuel, but I'll, I'll keep them in place for the time being. What I could potentially do then is move these guys up and around, or I could have them... Uh, in fact, what I'll do then is I'll split these guys up, and we'll corral the enemy into a tighter. There we go. Okay. 
definitely needs reorganization here. I only have a few points left, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Hmm. I could have you assigned to the 18th Army Command, however. No, I can't. Don't have enough points. Alright, that satisfies everybody. Move you guys up and around. There we go. Right, everybody's satisfied there. And we have um, a little encirclement around the forces at Leningrad. Which I'm hoping here will make a big difference. Hmm. I'm starting to think it might be worthwhile just to try and uh, whack away at this, just to make it a little bit harder for them to push in the future. Yeah, reserve cavalry. Fantastic. That's really, really good. So I can fill that in now. There we go. Um, I will have this fill this spot here. Just deepen our lines a little bit more. And you are assigned down here, so I'll have you move down there post haste. Okay. Right, that's sorted. Uh, I could move you there, or I could move you here. I think I'd be better off moving. Well, I could keep you in that place right now. Uh, let's see. Eh, you got a good enough uh, defense. I could move you there. You'd have a little bit more. And they would be in a little bit tighter. But I lose this spot and I lose this coherent line. So I'll keep that coherent line because that's going to be worth a hell of a lot more. Uh, but that's a nice little pocket that we got there. That's uh, two divisions, three divisions, uh, five divisions, six, seven, eight, uh, brigade. Potentially nine divisions there and a brigade, a headquarters as well. Uh, so that's a really nice little encirclement there. That could be maybe 100,000 men. Which isn't a huge amount of men. Well, isn't a huge number, I suppose, but that should be nice. I mean, we'll uh, knock them down a little bit just to some levels I can handle. And then we need to begin the process of trying to move to the river here. Um, but the thing is, with all these rifle divisions taken, uh, that's going to force the Soviets to reevaluate their position. Uh, so at the moment, the Soviet forces of Josef Stalin and Soviet Russia and the Soviet Republics. Uh, so let's draw round about their lines. These are all head... Well, these are all airfields, which really don't count that much. Uh, so the line kind of starts there, a little there. But mostly here. Then they do have forces here, so their line still... There. So that's the extent of there. lines. So what we need to do then is we need to break through here, which I think is historically where the Germans did make it. And what I want to do is take this river line, and then at least we can cut off Leningrad. And, um, yes, that should be good. Alright. Much to be done. Hmm, you're in command of all of that, aren't you? I'll have you at Piskov. No, actually, I completely forgot about this armor. Turns out I didn't really need that armor there, but it would be very nice to have that armor there. Then again, we're at about 114% fuel. Okay, these lines are working. Um, I do need some security in Riga. That's true. Um, I do have a battalion, sorry, a division of security over here, so I can break that up. So we'll have them head towards there. I'll have another one, um, probably sit on a rather important part of the line or something. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, even there on Bad Town. Could have had a Narva itself. Hmm. Okay, but we do definitely need to turn Talon in into a proper supply port. I'll keep them in position for the time being then. 
they can head there. Um, so yes, uh, we do have this armor. Now what do we have in here? We have uh, Panzer twos, uh, some uh, Panzer fours. Not very many though. I mean, we have a hell of a lot of these Panzer threes, which aren't bad tanks at all. An okay amount of Panzer twos. There's not too many of them. Panzer C's. Uh, they have the little gun. These guys, yep, little gun. Okay. We do have the 150mm guns though, that's quite nice. Motorized infantry too. Mortar carrier. So. I mean, they are closest to the lines where they're going to get that uh, fuel. So I think what we'll do then is, in fact... I could move them just up there. Then at least could stop in this gulf. Hmm, I do have these headquarters. And I can't reassign them, can I? So I'm going to have to send them back down here, which isn't uh, too bad. I could have them take command of more forces. So I don't believe I can have them. I can change that leader, however. A 4A. Yeah, I'll have them moved. Waste of time there, but I did assume that I would be able to have them re uh, assigned. But that's okay. I can fill these lines out now. And we'll have our logistical support that we need. Da 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 da. Hmm. Oh, well, that's not actually good. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that would have been better if I just left them in there, but hey, oh well. Okay. Armor. Move over here, then. HQ build up. There we go. So we're going to build up that fuel there. No. I don't think I can have you reassigned. I mean, I could have your individual units reassigned. They have self-propelled infantry guns. Sweet. They'll prove to be quite valuable. And with captured equipment, I can potentially augment them even further. But that massive firepower of the Panzers will definitely come in useful once I start to push on here. Uh, so I'll have them on HQ buildup. And we have OKH OK all the way here. Uh, in fact, I should move them. Um, uh, move you. To a more central position. I guess I'll have you there. I don't want you too close to the lines over here. Ah, we do have this infantry. moved over here. I may have some more reinforcements actually. Ah, good, I can have you protected. That's okay for me. That worked out quite nicely. Uh, we do have some reinforcements. A another command and some more infantry, the 227th, which ain't bad at all. Right, we'll have you move towards Riga. But the thing is, once we get these troops far enough out here, so that they start to actually bypass these lines over here, the Soviets are going to have to, have to move their men. I mean, I could try a breakthrough over here, but... Mm, 
I'll get these guys across the river next turn, then hopefully. Um, another Glor is going to provide a fantastic defensive position along with the river there, so that's going to be great news. Hmm. Yep. Okay, Finnish troops now. So I do have that coastal brigade over there. Um, I'll move you down here. Yeah. You can see here that we're going to have to deal with these forces, which is going to be easier said than done. I'll just take over this area here then, if I can. Okay. I need a port or something. See, they can move. I could just send them from that port, but then again... Shipping available, 10,000. 10,000. And right -o. We'll keep them in place for now. Annoyingly, I can't attack, which really does suck. Like, I can't just keep on hammering away the Soviets. That's what I find hard to deal with. Right, so these forces can be moved by rail back then. Uh, I'll have them move to uh, Helsinki. Ah. Ah, they'll be able to manage. I can have them reassigned to another command next turn. Right, so we've moved these guys, we've moved these guys, we've moved these guys, we've moved these guys, we've dealt with this in the rear. Um, I've moved... Um, you can't move anymore. I've spread security out so we shouldn't suffer these same issues again in the future. The armor has been withdrawn, I've done as much as I can over here. Okay. Hmm. How much does that cost me? Four. Okay. I'm going to need that in the future. Um, so, I think we might want to attack the Soviet airfields, actually. Which I will do. Alright, we'll try and hit them with the planes. Um, yeah. We'll damage these uh, bloody... Airfields, hopefully try and take out a decent amount of the enemy planes. Let's see if we got 25, 10, 8-2, So they just lost another 209 planes there. I don't think that was just that round, but that's just this turn. They lost another 94,141 men this turn, another 1,000 guns, another 237 armored fighter vehicles, uh, 95 self-propelled and armored cars. We lost two armored fighter vehicles. So if I can keep this loss ratio up, then we're going to be in a good spot. I mean, we only lost 4,504 men there. So, rather good then. Plane-wise, we did lose 18 planes, but hey. Right. So I'll resolve the turn. Make sure to save. Now this is just for the next episode. Well, I think I might just combine it. 
Yeah, I'll just combine it. Save over. I would have wanted to let me use a name, but hey. Right. There we go. Good. Okay, let's resolve. I'm going to be extremely interested to see what happens now with the Soviets. Um, I do feel like they're going to have to respond somewhere. Though I'm really proud of the fact that we did manage to cut off quite a few divisions over here in the north. That's going to make a real big difference, I hope. I mean, these are full divisions. Fully trained divisions, fully equipped divisions, so that's the thing. That's the difference between them and the reserves that the enemy will bring up. Um, the line here is finished here, which is a little bit dangerous, but we'll have to see what we come up against. Hopefully we can hold the line. Okay. That's the thing, we must be like water. If we come up against a rock, we have to go around that rock, or eventually get eroded away. Dislodge it. Okay. And the stealth, there's hardly anything. That's definitely... Right, so we have rifles down there. Brigades. They cut my lines at Smolensk. Son of a bitch. Right, that's okay. They've reinforced that part of the line where I was weakest, actually. That's not okay. In fact, that could cost me that pocket. Which is bloody well going to frick sake. I don't know, I might be able to close it again next turn. I should be able to close it again next turn. Uh, so we'll have to assume for the time being that that pocket is lost to us. A rail has been broken out, but we can't surround it. Yeah, so see they have the forces down here, but with these forces moving up here, we should be able to capture all of that. Okay, they're pushing out. Yeah, they've been uh, linked up again. Uh, but the thing is, they're going to have to move troops there. Hmm. I was hoping that would be a pocket, but hey, I can get that pocket again. At least the Soviets have reacted quite angrily towards that, so they have moved their forces. In such a way as to break their troops out, whilst they're going to have to face me again. Lots of interdictions. Okay. Did I... shouldn't have skipped that. Okay, we're held. Now the episode is probably going to go over, so I'm going to probably have to, uh... Oh, there's a lot of men there. See, it's it's going to be difficult to hold on to this line here, but the longer I stay here, the, the better it is for me. Um, I will have to work this line out so I can get reserves into the appropriate areas. Okay, but you can see the huge mass of the Soviet forces here. I mean, it would have been ideal if I could have pushed up to that river line, which I might be able to do soon. Uh, soon, potentially. Right, we are coming up here, so I will have to make this resolution an extended episode. I hope you guys enjoy that. Right. Ah, there we go. Yep, so they did reconnect uh, to the pocket there, but I can uh, probably sort that out fairly easily. I mean, I'll have the, uh, my infantry divisions, I can move it there and fill in that gap. So that's easy enough. I don't think any of them really escaped. I mean, they moved a little bit further down here to the south. Uh, those forces have moved over to Smolensk, which is a pain in the arse. Uh, but we'll have to see what we can do. I did have those armoured forces on uh, HQ build-up, so they might potentially have the fuel... Alright, the mud has bloody well arrived. Oh dear. It begins. It begins in earnest. I mean, our defensive positions are better now. 
God, it feels like someone's just smeared crap all over this. Yes, so they didn't actually fill that gap in. Fantastic. God, it feels so weird. Okay. So I can quite easily fill that gap in there. We'll cut those forces off once again. I mean, they have been cut off once before. But, uh, well, maybe. I can do that too. Two, two, six, seven, nine. Hmm. Wow. That's demolished the armored fighting ability. It felt that's demolished all of my unit's fighting ability. Jesus Christ. We have partisans over here. Goddamn. Um, you know what? I think I'd be better off just... Mm, no, I can't anyway. Alright. It's not like that rail line could have been used anyway, but I'll have to fix it again. Uh, should be able to cut that uh, division off there. Right, that is a large breakout. I actually kind of did underestimate this. Oh no, we did get this pocket. Fantastic. Decent amount of resources there. Okay, so the game does begin in earnest. I'm surprised they didn't actually pull back. That's going to be really, really bad for them. Oh yeah, actually not so bad now, because I can't really cut them off. <laughs> ah, I miss the clear weather. And it's only going to get worse. Yeah. Only had one more turn. Okay. In fact, this is actually a much larger threat than I would have um, hoped. Now we have partisans over there. Yeah. Now this is where the threat comes in earnest. See, I've got to fix this line. Those partisans are going to be hell to deal with. <sighs> I mean, it's bad for me, but it's also bad for the Soviets. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, this is terrible. Right, so this is going to require nothing less than the full reorganization on... Uh, I'll fill that gap in to begin with, though. Yes, this is going to be horrific. This is probably the point where I contract my lines and really, really decide what's worth. We do have some reinforcements, actually. Hmm. Division, not bad. I need to deal with this. I should have began to pull that armor out sooner. Because right now it's it's worthless. 
Oh, it's not worthless, it's just not worth a hell of a lot. I mean, I could put, uh, put it into the service as well, just hold in here. Ah, uh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, they gained 200,000 troops out, I think. This is real bad. The thing is, if I cut them off, however the hell I'm going to manage that, I'm still going to have to deal with these troops and they are moving rapidly. Hmm. Right, let's do our reconnaissance here. <laughs> I think it's... Yeah, the mud's really fucked me up here. They're going for a pocket here, I think. Oh no, I didn't get them out of I was hoping I did get them out of Ah. You're put off. Uh, it's not something I can't easily fix though. Hmm. But their combat power is severely diminished. Right, we need to deal with this first. So I think I might have to just use my armor as a... Well, just use it for the time being, just to stem the tide over here. At least I can move the armor down here, so they could be put to use. I do need to protect this line. Right, so I think we'll withdraw from here. Move there, block that a little bit. This is where the Soviet numbers come into advantage. <sighs> I know I need to pull back here. We can keep on advancing down here of the south. That's the thing that we've got to bear in mind. The Soviets have uh, moved between our lines here. But it's a precarious position. I'm not really at risk of being cut off due to the vast distances involved here. Uh, so that's what we have to bear in mind. They run on fuel just like I do. At least I hope so. I don't think the AI cheats that much. I do have this armor that has the potential to move here. Yeah, that's the thing, it's like, I wish the game would run a little bit, well, have a better simulation of the weather. Instead it all just being mud at once, have it in like different sections and then gradually the mud builds up. Because, yeah, this is a little bit weird. Right. Now, do I have access to the captured equipment yet? I'm not sure if I do or not. Hmm. I'll try my best to. Yeah, 
Yeah, these forces are out of supply. Should have moved that. Completely forgot about it. Okay. Well, that's a problem for next time. Can't wait to face this hell. Not really, it's going to be the worst thing in the world. Okay, but thank you so very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this, and if you have, do let me know down below by liking, commenting, commenting, subscribing, and if you deem me worthy, you could decide to become one of my patrons on Patreon, or even a one-time donation on PayPal. It all really, really does help, especially with acquiring new games to the channel, and just helping out. It's, uh, it's a huge time investment to do all of this. So, until next time, guys, thank you, and goodbye.